Welcome to The Corner, where we talk about anime, manga, and everything in between. What are we talking about today? Episode 2 of Data Live. Well, it's fairly, fairly interesting, fairly, fairly funny, and I don't know how to react right now. Uh, <laughs> they're just so, the, the, literally, the whole reason that they train him is to seduce the spirits. And I don't know how to feel about that. It just, just, it reminds me of uh, the world only God knows, uh, where he has to go around seducing women to uh, to solve problems. And after it's done, they look, uh, they forget all about it. This one seems a little bit more permanent. It seems like there's a lot more to it though. If you can't tell, I am at an angle. I'm not touching it this way. And I just got done watching it. So I'm doing a little review on it. But after the whole thing, yeah. So as time goes on, he gets to seduce a teacher, seduce a classmate, and then seduce the spirit. Not, not in per se, seduce as in sexually seduce. Just seduce, like to give, uh, to make it so they like him and fall in love with him. A seduction of love, not a seduction of lust. Okay, guys, get that right. Um, in this in this episode, there is a lot of action and a lot of scenes that end up happening. We get to see him actually converse with the spirit itself and go on a, and actually ask a classmate out on a date, which causes conflict when it comes down to the spirit. It's not a spirit because when she realizes he was with the spirit talking to her, she uh, runs in to uh, save him, thinking the worst. Well, the whole situation happens at the end of the anime is the spirit comes back without even the ones going off and I uh, said well of course you, uh, you invited me didn't you and on the, uh, and everything like that so it, it there's not much to an expl explanation of this episode except for the fact that uh, Origami is uh, past is pretty bad because uh, when a spirit showed up they killed her parents and it shows to show a more in depth thing. And one of the funnier moments was when Origami was being asked out by our main character, and he uh, starts saying certain things that that were asked of him, and finds out that she was doing the same thing to him, even though he wasn't doing it. But <laughs> it was it was obviously very funny, and it was like, what the hell, man? You don't expect that to happen. It's just like, what? Are you serious? But, Technically, I feel like you should be creeped out here. <laughs> well, we also find out a little bit about the staffing situation. Um, it's a bunch of perverts. A bunch of perverts trying to give him uh, advice on how to ask the girl out. Yeah, that, that happens. And on top of that, we get to a point where uh, we find out what the dating sim game on the phone is all about. And it's a giant resource for help with trying to get him to seduce spirits. But what's going to happen after this? How is everything going to turn out and where are things going to end up? Because spirits disappear after being uh, happy or do they uh, stay? And uh, the, how, much, how much complication will this uh, actually take when it comes down to it? It seems like there's going to be a big complication in the future because he had already asked out his classmate in the first place, he should be going on a date with her, and now he's going on a date with this girl, and uh, if more of these seduction things uh, continue to happen, it's going to cause lots and lots of conflict throughout the uh, time. I can see fights uh, breaking out and people trying to kill each other just to be with him at this point in time. Um, and it, it has a it's a great anime. I, I'm loving it so far because I love the, the world of my god knows as well. So this is the type of anime that really kind of give me a good show and a great laugh and stuff. Um, like I said, the animation of this uh, anime is really good and I really do enjoy the art style. The art style is uh, did a great job on it. I've watched the episode in Japanese and I've watched it in English dubbed as well. Both, dub, both the dub and the sub are really good, actually. They uh, have pretty good voice actors on both sides. So, I must say that uh, the voice actors uh, acting situation really has uh, does work out in this anime. 
And on top of that, there seems to be a lot of uh, good progressive storyline traits when it comes down to it, and a lot of great uh, situations that in turn help progressing the story in some way, shape, or form. Toma being, uh, Toka being uh, the word for theft, and giving that to the, uh, the spirit herself, that who is now Toka. So, we can see what continues to happen. I know you, a lot of you guys have probably watched ahead and uh, have already seen more most of this and I'm probably going to be heading over to the third episode as well because it's going to start to become a binger for me, but I'm doing an episode by episode review. So because this anime really does deserve it, it deserves the episode by episode review and it does deserve a reaction to each video. Um, I'm not going to be at the, at this angle every time, but this episode is just going to like, seriously, as I was watching, I was just going... This is, like, what the hell, man? <laughs> type of situation. And it was just like, what... Uh, and uh, just those moments and times that that stuff happened. It really, gives, uh, really makes it uh, a great anime in the end. Uh, that the humor it can give you, whether lewd or not. It's something to be accepted and enjoyed and it really shines through in this anime and and then anyways that was episode two review of of data live data live whichever way you guys want to put it but i'm going to say live because obviously the date is live <laughs> anyways until the next time you guys i hope you guys have a great day and a fun one as well Hey guys, thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you press the like button below. If you have any comments, the same thing goes for later. Leave your comment below. Uh, if you guys have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys press the subscribe button right over here. And my latest videos are right over here if you want to continue on my reviews. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and a fun one.